Hello YouTube and welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to show you Ubuntu Touch running on my Nexus 4. Let's get into it. I have already played around with Ubuntu Touch before recording this video. As you see, I set a new wallpaper already. On the first boot, you will be shown a quick tutorial through the basic gestures you will have to use. To unlock the screen, well that's not actually a lock screen, you have to swipe from the right edge. Or you can open one of your favorite applications in a Unity launcher, swiping from the left edge. The home screen is designed to look like the Unity Dash on Ubuntu Desktop. There are four pages or lenses. From the left, music, home, applications, videos. Each lens has a focus on particular content, except the home lens, which will be something like Google Now, showing the right thing at the right time. But as now, it's just a brief summary of your content. The applications take some time to open, but remember this is just a preview. The phone app is very simple, a dialer in the first page, as anyone could expect, and some common content like contacts and call log in the other pages. On Ubuntu Touch the navigation is handled by a scrolling menu on the top of the app. This may recall the Android tablet interface, but it isn't quite the same thing. To return in the home screen, you have to swipe all the way right from the left edge, or press the Ubuntu icon in the Unity Launcher. As you see, running applications are shown in the application's lens. To close one, you have to hold it until the cross appears in the corner, then press it. It's not exactly as quick as Android Multitasking and reminds me the multitasking menu in iOS 6 and below. You can browse all your installed applications by pressing the little installed label above the shown apps. To have some info on a specific app and to remove it, you have to hold its icon and wait for the menu to load. This would have taken some time, so I skipped it. The Notes app is very simple, this style reminds me the TouchWiz Notes app, nothing fancy really. The keyboard is a bit too small for me, there is no haptic feedback or acoustic feedback when pressing the buttons, I hope developers will think about it. To close the keyboard, just push it down. This makes you understand how Ubuntu Touch user experience is focused on pull and push gestures. The file manager The weather app isn't working very well. First of all, location scanning doesn't seem to work correctly. Even after activating location detection and GPS, the app still thinks I live in Umbria. I had to set the city manually. interface looks nice, the navigation isn't actually that easy. I tried swiping around to change the day, but without any feedback I just got confused.
wallpaper to the new photo I just made. The music app is pretty much complete already. It offers all the basic features, some unique animations and a nice interface. But unfortunately it shares the same problem Box has. It uses the artist tag instead of the album artist one, making every featuring result in another artist. As you see the volume changes are not notified with the foreground pop-up, they are just shown by the little indicator in the status bar. The multitasking in Ubuntu Touch isn't only handled by the application's lens. In fact, you can switch between open apps just by swiping left from the right edge. One great feature Ubuntu Touch shares with Ubuntu Desktop is the HUD. This little menu gives the user suggestions on the available actions he can perform. In the future, a voice recognition service will be implemented in the HUD, allowing the user to use the device with hands free, like for example in the car. As you see, Ubuntu Touch is still not ready to be used as daily driver, even if much progress has been done since I tried it last time on my Galaxy S3. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please press the like button if you did and remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. Thanks for watching and see you next time with a new video. Happy 2014 everyone!